Hello students, welcome you all on behalf of Resonance. Today 8th April session 2 memory based paper the crying chemistry. Ka. The first question in this is how many of the following compounds of xenon have one lone pair on central atom? The given compounds XeO3, XeOF2, XeO2F2, XeOF4 and XeF5 minus and look here XeO3 it has one lone pair, XeOF2 it has two lone pair, XeO2F2 it has CISA shape and one lone pair, XeOF4 it has also one lone pair and XeF5 minus has two lone pairs. So, only three of these are having one lone pair compounds that means XeO3, XeO2F2, XeOF4 these three only having only one lone pair on xenon. Next one, the sum of oxidation numbers of central atom in FeCO5, VO2 plus and WO3 is. So, in iron pentacarbonyl, carbonyl is the neutral ligand. So, iron has 0 oxidation number and in VO2 plus, vanadium has plus 4 oxidation number and in tungsten trioxide, the tungsten is having plus 6 oxidation number. So, the total is equal to 10. And this is from ionic equilibrium indicators related. Statement 1, methyl orange is a weak acid. Ye statement is galat hai because it is a weak organic base, methyl orange. Statement 2, benzoid form of methyl orange have more intense color than its quinonoid form. Yes, it is correct. It is the benzoid form. It has yellow in color and quinonoid form of this as pinkish red color. So, methyl orange is the weak organic base and here the statement 1 is incorrect, but the statement 2 is correct. Now, the another question related to p block the sum of sigma and pi bonds in pyrophosphoric acid is pyrophosphoric acid formula h4p2o7 and in this the sum of sigma and pi bonds number of sigma bonds are 12 and pi bonds are 2 total equal to 14 next this is the question related to s block alkaline earth metal cement related in good quality cement ratio of limestone to total oxides of silicon, alumina and iron should be close to. The lines directly given in the NCRT that is for good quality cement, the ratio of silica to alumina should be between 2.5 and 4 and the ratio of lime to total of the oxides of silicon, aluminum oxide and iron oxides should be close as possible to 2. So, answer should be 2. Next, this is the question related to periodic table. Which of the following relationship is correct between Z and root over nu during bombardment of electron on metal target? During the bombardment of metal electron on metal target, the frequencies and atomic numbers are directly proportional. So, Z is directly proportional to root over nu. This is the most less equation. Which of the following graph is re correct regarding without and with presence of catalyst? In presence of catalyst, the activation energy is lowered and it takes a new path that is why here the first solid line is representing the reaction path in absence of catalyst and this dotted line represents the reaction path in presence of catalyst. So, the first one is the correct answer. Next, which of the following is responsible for reduction of Al2O3? in hall heralds process that is graphite which is used as anode it can be used in the hall herald process for the reduction of al2o3 
this is the question from metallurgy next this is again from coordination complex ion mn ncs six times x minus has magnetic moment spin only that is 6.06 .06 bm the value of x is here from this magnetic moment it is known that the metal ion should have six unpaired electrons so the six unpaired electrons can be observed in when mn is in plus one state so if it is in plus one state then the x minus means it should be 5 so here x value should be 5 and you will get the charge over this complex is 5 minus so x value is 5 and again from coordination we have to match the a number of 100 electrons and the complex CR CN6 3 minus FA H2O 6 times 2 plus Ni NH3 6 times 2 plus CO NH3 6 times 3 plus. In this CR CN6 3 minus CN is the strong field ligand and it is octahedral complex and it is having plus 3 state oxidation state of chromium is plus 3 state and chromium in plus 3 state it has 3D3 configuration T2G 111 is 0 0 number of unpaid electrons are 3 and fe h2o 6 times 2 plus iron is in plus 2 state and it is in 3d6 configuration and it has t2g 211 ez11 because water is the weak field ligand next nickel in presence of strong field ligand it has t2g 222 ez11 configuration and it has two unpaired electrons and cobalt in plus 3 state 3d6 t2g 222 is 00 and it has 0 unpaid electrons so we have to match this and the first one is the correct matching next question this is from solution called gate to properties the boiling point of two solvents x and y are in the ratio of 2 ratio 1 and their enthalpy of vaporizations are in the ratio 1 is to 2 find the ratio of elevation in boiling point when same moles of solutes are added to the same mass of both the solvents if the molar mass of x is twice that of y here delta tb equal to kb into m and kb equal to r tb square into molar mass of solvent y 1000 into enthalpy of vaporization so from this delta tb of x y delta tb of y equal to tb of x upon tb of y whole square into molar mass of solvent x by molar mass of solvent y into enthalpy of vaporization of y upon enthalpy of vaporization of x by substituting this you will get 16. Next, this is the question from atomic structure. The ratio of wavelength of H alpha line, H beta line of Bummer series is x by 20, then x is H alpha line means first line, H beta line means second line. So, in the Bummer series, when the line when the electron jumps from 3 to 2, you will get the first line, and when the electron jumps from 4 to 2, you will get second line. So, this ratio will be equal to 27 by 20 and here it is given in the form of x by 20 so x value is 27 next the coagulating value of alcl3 and nacl are 0.09 and 50.04 then the ratio of coagulating power of alcl3 and nacl is coagulating power and coagulating value are inversely proportional now we have to find this ratio coagulating powers ratio and coagulating values are given so by substituting the data you will get 556 so 556 is the answer next which are which combination of following number have same number of significant figures so the first one 1 2 1 3 and 4 only are having same number of significant figures this is the significant figures next one which compound is added to reduce decomposition of hydrogen peroxide generally 
hydrogen peroxide decomposes slowly as according to this reaction. In the presence of metal surfaces or traces of alkali or when it is present in the glass containers, this reaction is catalyzed and so it is stored in the wax coated glass or plastic vessels and urea can be added as the stabilizer and it is kept away from the dust because dust can induce the explosive decomposition of the hydrogen peroxide. So, here for the given question which compound is added to reduce the decomposition that is urea because urea can act as the stabilizer. Next, identify the correct order of Van der Waals constant A for argon, methane, water and benzene. Here the Van der Waals constants depends on the A values that is benzene greater than water greater than methane greater than argon. So, based on the Van der Waals constants the order is benzene greater than water greater than methane greater than argon. It depends on the intermolecular forces of attractions. Next, how many from the following orbitals have 5 radial nodes? The number of radial nodes will be equal to n minus l minus 1 and here for 7s, 7, 7 minus 0 minus 1, 6, 7p, 7 minus 1 minus 1 that equal to 5. For 8s, 8, 8 minus 0 minus 1, 7. For 8d, 8 minus 2 minus 1, 5. For 6s also it is 6 minus 0 minus 1, 5. So, for these three orbitals 7p, 8d and 6s, the number of radial nodes equal to 5. So, answer is 3. Next, the sea water contains 30 times sodium than potassium. Yes, correct. And size of sodium is smaller than potassium. Both statements are correct. Here, the given both statements are correct. Okay. Thank you students, that is it for today, we will meet again in the next paper.